Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agmets of Research Company and here we're going to calculate correlation coefficient in Excel in three simple steps. You can see that we are going to uh, three data sets here to see um, how we're going to work with this function in Excel. So basically, you just need to list your first set of data then the second set of data and then jump into correlation function in Excel and that's it and then you have your correlation coefficient um, value. But what is correlation coefficient in terms of Excel? So basically it is R indice, not the R squared. So don't make a mistake. R is um the one which has the direction so it can be negative or positive or zero of course but the r squared as it seems like it doesn't have any direction so it can be between zero to one the zero means that there is no correlation and as it goes to one it means that this correlation is more strong but the r indice which we are working with right now and the correlation function uh, calculates it it has negative and positive values when it is negative it means that the um actually relationship is reverse so as the first variable goes up the second one goes down and when it's positive it means that they are moving in a one direction together so you can see that as the first one goes out uh, goes up the second one also goes up and when it's zero you can see there is no correlation here and this is the reverse one when it's negative so that's the formula and let's jump into it so for calling the correlation coefficient in excel you need to first put uh, an equal mark just like any other function in excel and then go for writing corel so that returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets so i double click on that and here i have three sets of data so it first wants me to select the array number one so my first array in the set number one is observed data so here as you probably know this is uh, actually one step one important step in modeling which we go to calibrate our model and then we want to uh, actually compare the simulated um, data with observed data so that's what we're gonna do and then the simulated ones are these ones i close the parentheses and hit enter and you can see that there is a high um actually correlation between these two um observed and simulated data and it means that as the first one goes up the second one also goes up and this means that this model has a good you know accuracy maybe it's doing well so let's go to the set number two again i hit enter and go for correlation function here first i select the observed and then i go for sim i'm sorry i first go for observed put a comma and then select the simulated so a tip here is that this function doesn't work if these two columns that you want to compare and you want to calculate the correlation are not uh, in the same size so please um, pay attention to this these two should be of one size I close the parentheses so you can see that in my second data set uh, the model actually doesn't have that much accuracy the R um, 
indice is going down, so the correlation is not that much, but it's still in acceptable range. So I go for another um, set of data. I select the observed, then I go for simulated, and then you can see that in here, the R, um, actually the R uh, indice is not doing very well. So it's 0.2, it means that maybe the model needs to be improved or, may, or maybe these two sets of data don't have that much correlation with each other. They are not that much related, but they are still, uh, you know, you can see that the correlation is still positive so it means that they are related but not that much you know what i mean so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video and bye